This is the Whiskey and Weapons review of Ardbeg 10 year old. I'm looking forward to this one. Special whiskey this isn't it? We got you convert with Ardbeg. Although yeah. granted it wasn't this one, it was the Ogadil wasn't it? Very highly prized the Ogadil. Uh, it's my favourite whiskey that the Ogadil. I tend to agree. So back to this one anyway, uh, this one's bottled at uh, 46%. It's non-chill filtered, naturally coloured. Nice to say that, just how many flipping whiskey companies add uh, is it caramel, the colour and what they call it? Hmm. Gets me every time. Look at that, guys. What a natural cold whiskey should look like. Thank 10 years old, so it's nice and mature. Released in 2000. Yeah, Ardbeg actually went out of business for a while, didn't he? They um, certainly did. And was it Glen Morangi who took them over? Yeah, went out of business in 1981, stopped producing whiskey. Yeah. Um, however, was it 1997 Glen Morangi picked them up? Your knowledge is a bit better than mine there. Um, I, I couldn't remember that if I'm honest. No. Anyway, bottled at 46%. May need a drop of water just to open it up a bit. Let, let's have a look. See what we've got. So with an Arberg, we're looking for that smack in the chops, aren't we? Like you're being violated by a bonfire. Stick up the nose kind of deal. Stick up the nose? Get See, right in I, there. I think... Look, get in there real deep. Nice real deep. deep. See, I think that's quite mild on the nose. That the first thing you get is like vanilla followed by. Um, it reminds me of my mum and dad had conifers. It's like the pine resin smell what comes off the off the trees, you know. Okay. Yeah. Can like you quite a young whiskey? Yeah, I can see that almost as if you're trimming the top of the con conifers. Yeah, yeah, that. it's there, but resiny. Flavor. It's still got that mature note that you expect from a ten-year-old whiskey. A little bit of apple cider. Subtly, real subtle, on the, on the front of your nose. Yeah, it's a little bit vinegary though, isn't it? Apple cider vinegar. There, there Bingo, is. yeah. Well done, pick out the flavour there, lad. It's quite herbal for a... You, you just wouldn't expect it. It's got that, a little bit of a floral note from Heather. But it's got a real... You know what it is? Pickled ginger from the sushi bar. Yes. I am getting the ginger, like ginger root. Nice. Yeah, nice and spicy. Classic salt and brine, a little bit of iodine there, but you'd expect that with uh, any whiskey from Isley or Isla, depends on how you want to pronounce it. I love those um, sweet oaky notes on the nose. Quite creamy as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real nice. Well, I know what this tastes like, but I'm, I'm dying to jump back in again, so let's, I, let's have a go. I think I might have forgotten, so let's get into it. Forgotten. Need a triple for this lad. Okay, a little trip down to the seaside here. We're having a bonfire by the sea. Mm. Mm. That damp burning wood. Nice. Seawater. Yeah, the brininess is there. It's got a bit of a, a tannic taste about it. But, but, go on. I was going to say the, the sweet toffee notes are still there. Yeah, yeah. But I find that you get, just after the toffee, you get a little bit of a... I don't know whether it's mint or eucalyptus or something. I could just be picking that one up. It is that kind of plant resin. It's a bit of a freshness, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It could be coming from the pine resin smell, you know. I'm, I'm picking out almost orange peel, like a marmalade. Yes. Because it's got that bitter but sweet, but not, you know. It doesn't quite know what it wants to be. This one. Mm. Apart from delicious. Right at the very end, right. Now bear me with, with me on this one because it's a long one. My dad has a teapot at home that he leaves on top of the, um, the wood burner. And he always puts fresh tea leaves in and he leaves it to stew for hours till it comes out like tar, like treacle. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of a burn stew tea kind of taste right on the end. It's not on the nose, I'm not picking it up and smelling it, but tasting it. Okay, yeah, loose tea leaves. Mm. Yeah. Strong. I think, like that's, that. I think that's what we're looking for. You know when you get a good review because you're starting to drink the whiskey more than you say something about it, so we're not explaining as much as we are tasting. But what's nice about the Ardbergs is they're quite attainable, really. I mean, how, how much does this come out of? I paid 37 quid for this on special offer. It's that's usually about, about 45, 40, 45, you know. But this lovely whiskey, don't get me wrong, I like this one. If you want to stretch your budget a little bit, around about the 53 mark, 54 quid, 
by the Yuga Dill. Mm. For me, that is, I just, for, for the money, it's the best whiskey out there. That's my opinion. I absolutely love Ardberg, and I, I, it's not a secret. I'll pick that over any other whiskey in the same price bracket all day, every day, and that's what I got this one on Ardberg with. Yeah, it definitely converted me. Just that uh, real punchy flavour. Yeah. Do you know what this would go well in? Our oh, little hip flask that we have there. Nice one, isn't it? Leather covered. Embossed on the front with a little stag, isn't it? Not only that, hand stitched at the back here. This came uh, courtesy of a company called Tourban. We'll uh, put a link in the description there so that you can check them out. They have some fantastic stuff at really reasonable prices. I mean, who couldn't go with another hip flask? Yeah. And to be honest, they sell things for whiskey drinking and for hunting. It's a given for us then, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent quality products. Yeah, we wouldn't be um, backing these if they weren't good quality products. Really nice. Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm really enjoying this, guys, so uh, I'm going to love you and leave you. It's been another cracking review. Thank you for watching. Um, if you liked the video, tell us you liked it. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Thumbs up. And Any, until, fe well, Any feedback is great. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's the important thing is we need feedback and support. We're just in our early days. I mean, we're not professionals, but we're, we'll get there eventually. We'll pick up our game and hopefully if we get enough subscribers, we might be able to start buying a few more whiskies. I mean... We've got a few to go yet, but it'd be nice to hear what people want us to review. Yeah, if there's something in particular you want us to review, obviously it has to be within reason. Give us a shout, let us know. Well, enjoy the tipple, guys.